Hi everyone, welcome to Crowdfund Junction. As many of you must be aware that Puma has recently added .eth in its Twitter handle. That means they have registered themselves for the ENS. ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service. If you go to search bar and we type .eth, we see a complete list of all the people who have .eth as their domain name. So we also have Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum with .eth Twitter handle. So basically, .eth has been taken by people for obvious reasons. The first and the obvious reason is they become the part of the Ethereum community, which looks really cool. The second thing is .eth accounts give you the facility to share funds without the use of the public key or the Ethereum wallet address. Before we talk about ENS, let's just understand the term DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System. For example, if you want to search a website, say you want to search, say Facebook, so what you do is you go to the URL bar and you type facebook.com, right? And the Facebook page appears on the screen. Now, instead of typing the domain name that is fb.com, you could have also typed the IP address for the same. For example, 111.0105, something like that. You must have heard a lot of times. But just to make things simpler, we have a thing called domain name. So similar to that, we have Ethereum name service, which provides you the facility to share funds without the need of ethereum wallet address you just need to type the name of the person dot eth and you will sail through let's try to send some funds to puma okay so once we go to the metamask wallet which i recently created for this video if you click on send and we type puma dot eth you will automatically see the ethereum wallet address for the company puma and you can transfer funds directly without the need of knowing this particular address now let's understand how can you have ENS registered on your name. So we click on the website that's ENS.domains. If we scroll down the screen, we see what are the different ENS ecosystems. So it is supported by Coinbase, Rainbow, Trust Wallet. On the apps, we have Uniswap, Ethereum, Etherscan, OpenSea. For the browsers, we have Brave, which I'm currently using. We have Opera, we have MetaMask extension, which I used. Now let's try to create the ENS for Crowdfund Junction. So if I click on launch app, we'll be taken to the screen. Now let's try to find if we have the domain name for crowdfundjunction.eth. All right, let's click on the search bar. And you can see on the screen that we just need to follow three simple steps and we'll get the domain name of crowdfundjunction.eth. So you need to focus on two things. First one is the registration period. And second thing is registration price to pay. You will have to select the registration period as per your need. For example, if I increase the number of years, say two years, three years, it will totally depend on your need. And this is the amount of time that you will hold the domain name. And with the increase of year, you will see that there is a change in the price or the registration price that you need to pay. So if you hold this particular domain name for one year, you need to pay somewhere around $5. If I increase the number of years, we can see that we need to pay 0.004 Ethereum, which is equal to 10 USD. Once you add the funds to your wallet and you click on request to register, you will automatically get the ENS name for your company. For example, crowdfundjunction.eth. And now people can use this particular name to share funds. So for example, you want to share the funds or Ethereum with Crowdfund Junction. You simply need to type crowdfundjunction.eth in the sender's wallet address and you can easily share the funds. That's how convenient it is. I hope you loved the video. For more such videos, stay tuned, like and subscribe our channel and we'll see you in the next video.